Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 2. We're going into the secret tunnel with Saskia. See if we can figure out where her scouts disappeared to. I'm going through you. the door first. Stay behind me, Saskia. But it's actually... The world's upside down. But, uh, no, it's, it's, uh, what was I saying? Now I'm confused. I forget what I wanted to say. Damn it. I stopped to listen to her speak, and I forgot what I wanted to say. Well, damn, there's some mercenaries down there. Oh my god, they are OP. What is she doing? They are literally OP, dude. This. They are literally OP, dude, and now I'm getting stun locked in a corner by this dude. And Saskia is finally helping. You're dead, dude. Get in the corner. Get in the corner like a good enemy. There you go. There you go. Saskia. Never mind, I would have been better to just do this on my own. She is not helpful whatsoever. She's not even doing anything, dude. Like, this is annoying. She's not helping at all. Come here, bitches. Come here. Sasuke, are you just gonna watch again or are you gonna help me? Okay, good. Aggro those guys while I... Oh, the one shot is real. Sasuke, please keep him either stunlocked or aggroed. Of course you didn't. Always my job. Alright, now where to, Saskia? Where are we going? What the hell? Where are we going? Saskia, please. Alright. Where? What is she doing? Are you wanting to go this way? Where the hell? What the hell is she doing, dude? What the hell is she doing? My lord, we'll soon reach Bergen. You'll take them by surprise. Yeah, think again. Bergen is in danger and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them. Oh boy, am I not scared whatsoever. Can I draw, draw my sword, son of a bitch? I'm killing the leader first. Oh! Oh! The one shot is real! The one shot on the freaking... I gotta deal with this stupid son of a bitch shooting lightning at me. Son of a bit He hit me through a rock! What kind of bullshit is this? There are so many mercenaries, dude. This is ridiculous. I need to get a lot of these one- Oh my god, dude. He's knocking me down this shit. Saskia. I'm carrying too much weight. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I can't even, like, move, dude. I'm gonna drop some stuff. Uh, it won't. Oh, why is drop? Uh, let me drop that. Sure, how about the hammer? Alright, we should be under one now. Yep. Come here, motherfucker. I need you to die. Thank you. What the hell? Get him run like a little bitch. And Sasuke is a freaking dragon.
What the hell? Sasuke is a dragon? I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale? Now you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vargen could have used someone like him. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Upper Edern when the dust settles? You'd have to leave. Yes. The people of Edern know me as the Dragon Slayer. That's why they respect me. Maybe not the only reason, but if they learned I'm a dragon, they'd feel betrayed. But if Vergen falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you. Alright, let's return to the walls. Um, I don't want to dick with looting. Catacomb key. I'll take that. I don't know what that does for me, but I'll take it. Come on, Saskia. Let's get out of here. I can't believe she's a dragon. That's freaking awesome. Dude, I wouldn't care what other people would say. I'd just be a badass dragon. I'd come out, I'd just tell everybody. Freaking everybody that I was a dragon. But to each their own. Alright, Saskia. You coming? Yeah, she is, kind of. She's pretty slowly behind, but she is coming. She is coming. This is the weirdest siege ever. What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedsult personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they want to help us? Wizard good. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. <laughs> I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. When news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread, the spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. I'm gonna kick Hensel's ass. Let's do this. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked, humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No! Never! You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming! Who is he? A god! No. 
He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Durnian earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! <laughs> Where are my troll friends? Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this dude. Here coming! We will again! Eh, what the hell? We just a what the hell? Um, here they come. We're back to doing this again. Son of a bitch. Ah, the two hit. Are you guys gonna help? Or are you guys just gonna sit there and watch me kill these guys? Oh, you, you little ass hat. And you're dead. And you're about to be dead. Die. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh god. I hate this. Stop hitting me in the back. Stop it. Okay. Dead. Where's Hensel? I want to kill this bitch. Come here. Come here. Stop backing up. Now you're trapped. I wish you could kick him off. Okay, you're dead. Oh, the double hit. And this dude. This dude is a little tanky. No, nope, never mind. He got insta killed. Die. Die. And die. Oh, you're not dead. Oh my god, they just keep coming. They just keep freaking coming. Kill him. Kill his ass. Oh, well, swing. There we go. There we go. Where is he? Oh shit. I'd much rather have a bow opposed to a crossbow. Like in real life, if I was actually gonna fight and those were my two options, I'd rather have a compound bow. I'm a much better terrorist, murderers, a death squad, or freedom fighters in an uneven battle, noble in their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Yorvik. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Henselt's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpin says Deathmold's magic damaged it. Yarpin knows fuck all about gates. Cover my arse and I'll close it. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Dwarf. There's no bloody gate that Zoltan Chive can't close. Breakthrough to Yorvith. So... Which way do I need to be going here? Um... Uh... What the hell? Come on, Zoltan, let's go. We're going this way. Look, it's my troll! 
It's my troll friends! How the hell do I get through? Um... I gotta break... What the heck? Um... No, there we go. We can go down this ladder. So, weet! And Zoltan is inside of me. This is weird. This just looks weird going down this ladder. Really? That's all I Move had to do with- up the ladder! Yes, sir! Oh, okay. I like how there's no enemies over here, you know, it's just a nice pleasant walk. Here he is. Yorvith, we need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it, you thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. There's no time to waste. To the gate! Wow, I just keep getting more people. We got Zoldan, and we got Yorveth. And I want to level up, and I went the complete opposite direction of the where I should have. Okay, I got two level ups. I'm going to put one into this, and one into there. Okay. Alright, so is this the lever I'm supposed to... No, that... Swordmaster achievement unlocked. What is this? Acquire the combat acumen ability. I guess maybe I should try to get those achievements. I should just go randomly into alchemy and whatnot, just for the hell of it. So, Zolden, are you gonna you gonna do are you gonna do this? What is he doing? Should I oh, okay, never mind. Done! They're cut off like sitting ducks. Maybe they'll surrender. I doubt it. Sire, your orders. We surrender. Wow, really? He's surrendering. Just like that. That's it. Just GG? He just quits like that? The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin, before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Death Mold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog. Yeah, kill that bitch. You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores! Yeah, chop his head off! And there he goes. Swear an oath and you'll walk free. Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. 
Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. It's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken Fistech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. Oh. Okay, so me and Yorveth are... What? A teleport. Let's search Eilhart's house. She was in a hurry. Maybe she left something. Yeah, good idea. I'm happy I picked Yorveth. I kind of like him. He's pretty cool. I like him more than Roach. I'm just going to steal stuff at this point. Um, are you seeing anything? Oh, God. Oh, God. Nothing except for women's finery. Oh, God. It's like, no. <laughs> Not like this. I see what I need to pick up. Bed could speak. It's right Ruben, here. Over here. I've got something. Venoms and poisons. What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Oh, shit. I'm telling you, Orvet. Most things in this land seem to have something to do with Saskia, the dragon. How do you know? She told me. Then keep your mouth shut, Gwynblade, because if... I know I what will knows. happen if they learn, Yorveth. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's go then, Gwynblade. All right, sweet. Me and Yorveth. I wish I could have a bow. I wish I could be a badass with a bow. I feel like Roach's side would have been a little less interesting than this one. I like your vet. Alright, where, where are we going? Wow, you walk so slow, your vet. I level up again, almost. So I'm guessing Zoltan and Dandelion are coming. Geralt! Saskia's has disappeared! People are getting riled! Dwarves, too! Saski has gone to the summit that's supposed to re-establish the Council and Conclave. She wants the kings assembling at Loch Muin to recognize Vergen's independence. Alas, has good gumption. But everything will go to hell without her. We showed Hensel's his place, but what of it if everything falls apart now? Someone's got to bring these folks together. Without that, it'll have been a hollow victory. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorveth. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Loch Muin. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. Don't have a choice, but you do. 
The elite of the North is gathering at Loch Muin. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail. There can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, hi. Let's go then, Gwynblade. All right, to uh, to Loch Muin we go. He's just leaving his elves there. No orders. Just I'm out of here, man. I'm going with, I'm going with Geralt. So, that should be end of chapter two. So now we got to insert disc two to continue. So I'm going to cut the episode here, and the next one I will insert disc two, and we'll continue. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.